check it out. It's got white, pink, purple, green, I guess that is. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? I think we're going to stick with the white. All right. I'm Ryan O, and this is The Daily BA. Today, I'd like to talk about different forums or places that you can go to learn about behavior analysis or uh, interact with people that are passionate about it like you, whether that's uh, the big people up in the ivory towers that we learn about and we, we, we read so much about, or the folks like you and I that are just trying to understand and learn more about the field. All right, so for the ease of simplicity, I broke this into three different areas. The first is listservs, the second being social media, and the third being Slack groups that are just kind of started to pop up a little bit or that I utilize myself. And so the first is the oldest technology, but it has some of the like greatest minds in behavior analysis. Wonder how many people are gonna freak out about mine. It's actually just a complex set of verbal relations, but anyhow. So listservs are just a mailing list. Uh, there's a lot of them out there. There's like probably, I think of at least 50, 60 that are just in the contextual behavioral science world. And then another like 30 or so that are just in the behavior analysis, like traditional realm. And so some of my favorites are the teaching behavior analysis listserv is a, a great example because there's a lot of great people that have done a lot of influential work. All of the big professors and the big names that are doing a lot of different stuff are, are are all on that listserv and it's centered around a special interest group and the association of behavior analysis international but the point is is you can jump on you can learn from others and you can kind of get resources it's where i found a lot of good gems uh joe lang has actually shared a lot of cool information with me um, got me into whole areas of behavior analysis like israel goldemans work that i didn't even know was there so I'm gonna link some of my favorites. Uh, the other would be the Association for Contextual Behavioral Science. They have a ton of different areas and special interest groups for acceptance and commitment therapy, RFT and such that are also out there. Now, the second one would be social media. Now, social media largely break into either Facebook or Instagram. Um, Facebook first. There are hundreds of groups and pages and such. Some of my favorites being the Student Supplied Behavior Analysis and the ABA Skillshare page. Now, that's not to say that there aren't inherent issues that different admin are facing and people are trying to solve. We talked about that in another piece where it's coming out soon. I can't quite remember the order, right? But they're a way to actually interact with a lot of different people and get a lot of useful information, um, especially like on what people are currently talking about and trying to solve. So now over on Instagram, we have a bunch of different hashtags and groups. Now, the groups are limited to only like 20 people, so you can kind of find people with like-minded um, skill sets, ideas and such, and get them together. So one of the movements was called All the Ways to ABA. The idea here was that there are um, many different applications of behavior analysis, and sometimes they're not all highlighted. So the goal was to use this hashtag and highlight the ways in which you use applied behavior analysis in your life. Now there's also the BX Plus hashtag, there's also the Next Gen Rev hashtag, and the newly developed one, Do Better, that I'm sure is used all over the place, but it's starting to be used by behavior analysts through a new movement, um, kind of led up by Navigation and Megan Miller at all. So jump in on that. And the last one would be Slack groups. Now Slack groups, that Do Better movement has one, uh, we'll link to that, but it's also much more useful if you have a great idea and you want to really work on it with others. So. We use in the BX Plus community. It's an online community of people that just try to take behavior analysis plus something else, BX Plus. Um, and that's where cool projects like uh, the Why We Do What We Do podcast have actually like bred out of that group. And so it's a place where you can keep a lot of centralized everything, schedules, uh, project management, calendars, communication, emails, texts, all that's kind of smashed together. So it might be useful as a place for um, getting your different colleagues and people that you've talked about like working on that project with and you just quite haven't done it yet, like putting them into a place and kind of fostering that. I've done that with various different people for curriculum and events like our next gen conference that we put on and all those sort of things. So I'm sure there's a lot of things that I missed. Um, I clearly didn't list them all. So make sure that you drop in, comment, share this to the groups if they're out there and maybe we can get more of this together, do a version two sometime. Uh, if there's any main mediums that I missed, uh, please let me know of those as well. Hopefully this was of use to you. Um, the goal here is just create some sort of daily content, your daily BA that gives you a little bit of 
insight into the field or more resources or at least something you can kick out to others. So with that said, if you like it, you enjoy it, make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm also interested in the ones that you learned because of this itself. Like it'd be nice to have a little bit of feedback on like, hey, I didn't know about those and like this is actually useful. But it's also interesting to me to know like which ones you find most useful and why. So let me know. With that said, that is officially now your daily BA.